we're going to cover setup and use of the TESEC NSG 437 ESD simulator. Many of our customers rent the unit in order to do a pre-compliance check or to determine the breakdown point for their product. Here's the NSG 437 pistol. Uh, tips easily interchangeable by screwing on and off. The ground cable is permanently mounted into the bottom of the pistol. Follow the ground cable to, to the end. Uh, we're going to hook an alligator clip up to this and uh, I'll insulate it with some electrical tape and uh, connect the other end of the clip to the ground plane. The IEC standard uh, will uh, show diagram with the ESC base unit on top of the ground plane, uh, but uh, this isn't uh, quintessential for your testing. Let's get straight to zapping. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set the preset counter to off um, zero. Uh, change the reposition to uh, single mode. And um, go ahead and uh, start discharging by pulling the trigger. A successful arc will be indicated on the screen there by that high voltage symbol. And the preset counter will uh, increase incrementally by one. Oh, looks like I've got ungrounded board here, um, which is why you'll see the display here go to zero because um, the board is charged up uh, equal to the tip of the discharge network. All right, let's say uh, I've identified a, a sequence of events I want to perform on a regular basis. Um, I'm not going to write it down. I'll just save it into the gun here. Uh, 1 hertz repetition level, um, tw a 25 discharge count at, uh, we'll leave it here, 25,000 volts. Go into settings and scroll down to program. And we'll go ahead and identify a program memory slot. Program 1 here. store that it's program one by pushing uh, store twice so let's say uh, co-workers borrowing the unit for 4-2 uh, level 1 <laughs> 2 volts 2,000 volts and I want to get back to uh, to my program which I can't even recall what it was now at the top of my head there it is uh, 25,000 volts 25 pulses at 1 Hertz All right, now that I've got my board grounded, we'll play Star Wars. Pew, pew, pew. All right, we're gonna do some uh, some testing on a plastic plastic housing on a cell phone. So to do so, we turn the threshold two off, and uh, I'll go ahead and set my level to IC 4-2 level 4 and uh, here I have to put on the contact tip and uh, this will allow for contact discharge on plastic housing